2021 Hyundai Veloster NDCT Review But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons, so that we can continue to provide information about car and motorcycle news. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. The Hyundai Veloster N is one of the best hot hatchbacks we've ever driven, period. It's punchy, stylish, agile, and an absolute bargain for the segment. And this year Hyundai has upped the ante by adding more standard features, which makes the already great Veloster N even better. Joining the standard 6-speed manual transmission is an optional 8-speed dual-clutch gearbox that shifts with the best of them. The updated Veloster N also gets bigger brakes, better seats, and the performance package is now standard, which means more power. Even with a price hike that pushes the hot Hyundai just north of $30,000, our conclusion remains the same. The Veloster N is the best it's ever been. Hyundai absolutely nailed the styling of the Veloster line as a whole, but the angular hatchback looks even better in N guys. A set of 19-inch wheels comes standard, sportier vents and creases adorn the front end, and a sharp spoiler sits on the rear, blending seamlessly into the tapered roof. And if you opt for ultra black, performance blue, or chalk white paint, pictured here, there are red exterior accents on the body, while racing red paint features black accents. The Veloster N's interior layout looks simple and clean, but once you start laying hands on the individual parts, there's way too much hard black plastic throughout. The dash and door panels are littered with the tough stuff. Compared to the Honda Civic Type R and Mini John Cooper Works GP, the Veloster's interior looks and feels cheap, it's near the bottom of the class in terms of overall quality. A tacked-on touchscreen sits atop the dash with a simple array of buttons just beneath that, and the steering wheel has simple controls with two big baby blue buttons, one for standard drive modes and the other for a special race mode. The one major interior upgrade that the 2021 Veloster N gets over the previous version is the seats. The new buckets wear a combo of cloth and faux leather, with a sporty blue stripe down the center and a glowing N badge just below the headrests. These are some of the best buckets available anywhere. Not only do the Veloster N's new buckets look awesome, but they're also extremely form-fitting. The seats are supportive and soft, with great bolstering for both the road and when you need it on the track. And although the Veloster does ride a bit harsh, blame those large 19-inch wheels, it's not all that offensive thanks to the great support from those bucket seats. Our only knock against the seats is that they're not heated in the US. The Korean Veloster N, though, does get heated seats for some reason. The front of the Veloster is really the only place to be. The N model, like all Velosters, has a three-door layout, with one large door on the driver's side, a traditional door on the front passenger, and a smaller third door on the rear passenger side that creates a tight entryway into the second row. Ingress and egress are difficult, and once inside, the back seat isn't all that spacious.
Thanks for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.